sorry, the audio, sorry messing up. Um, but yeah, I went through a period in my life where I did not appreciate, um, my body. I did not appreciate my looks, and that's not me being cocky. If you want to know the truth, I would be lying if I told you that my own spirits did not give me a hard time about this. Especially, um, energies like Mama Chona, Anaisa, Anaisa got on my behind girl. I love my, who she is to me, but she can be very, um, spicy. And they basically were like, you have a gift. Use it. Just being a woman, you can tap into your beauty in many different ways. It doesn't always have to be makeup and hair and outfits and all that. Um, for some, it's dance. For others, it's artwork. Or um, sewing or wearing like ethnic fabrics and all these different types of beautiful things it makes you shine and i will never forget anaisa getting upset with me because she's like you are who you are to me why are you not um honoring me by honoring yourself She and I were in a tug of war about this from about November of last year to August. And, you know, enough time has passed and I've learned those, the, uh, those lessons so that I can talk to y'all about this and she's okay with it. But for me, the way that I express my beauty, it is makeup, it is jewelry, it is um, hair and outfits and shoes, and I just, I love it, it makes me happy. It's a way that I express myself. And I will tell you, ever since I started getting back to that part of myself, because she never left, she just took a leave of ab absence for a while <laughs> um ever since i started tapping back into my beauty and taking care of myself and nurturing myself my life has been completely different you have to know what makes you feel beautiful And yes, all of this is just a show. It's just a vessel. It's just a carrier for your inner soul, for your spirit. I understand that. But I also feel like you should take care of yourself in the way that is best for you. And the confidence that I've gotten since I started doing this and appreciating my beauty and not um, hiding it because I was hiding it for a while. And I'm gonna tell you why. A few months ago, one of my um, spiritual family members, he knows who he is, um, he told me basically, he's like a brother to me, right? He told me that he did not want me to feel like I was attracting um, the wrong men. Because he said, you're beautiful. You're going to attract everything and everybody. But it's on you to have the filter and to filter out and weed out the bad eggs. But for a long time, before he and I had that discussion, I felt like my beauty was a curse. 
as conceited and cocky as y'all might want to say that is. I don't really care. If you know, you know. Like, that's actually a real thing. So I would hide it. I would not do my makeup. I would not do my hair. Um, I would wear lounge clothes all the time. Even though I'm in a sweatshirt right now. Because I've been working on my business stuff all day. And I'm just chilling. But I have nice clothes. And I would choose to wear just not flattering things. Baggy sweatshirts all the time, baggy sweatpants, no makeup. And I'm not talking about like, when you're chilling at the house, I'm talking about 25 eight. I would not want to show off my body in a way that is appropriate. I would not want to draw attention to my face because I felt I blamed my beauty. This is some real shit. I blamed my beauty, my femininity, my energy, to be quite honest with you, because I have a lot of, um, sex appeal. I don't mean to. I'm not a hoe. You know, but uh, it's just how I am. I don't talk dirty in a vulgar way. Even though I make jokes with you guys, you know, online, on videos and stuff, sometimes I like scratch the surface. I do not talk about promiscuous stuff in public or online whatsoever. I'm very like when it comes to that. But energy does not lie. And in turn i blamed myself and who i was and how god made me for the hurt that i felt that my beauty had caused because it attracted people namely men into my life that had hurt me and then once i realized number one it's part of life Number two, I grew through it. Um, number three, I have to take some accountability and say, you saw the red flags. You put up with too much for too long. You can attract all you want to attract. Again, like my, the person who's like my brother told me. You're going to attract good, bad, ugly, handsome, rich, poor, everything in between. Because of who you are. And as a woman who is tapping into that energy of attraction, that's going to happen. Right? But it wasn't my fault entirely that they did what they did. And my beauty, my essence, my feminine energy was not the one to blame. It was a lot of different things. And since I've overcome that and I'm on the flip side of it and I've seen the doors and windows of opportunity that my beauty, and it's not just my beauty, okay, let's get that straight. But it has opened up doors and brought opportunities to me that I did not have before when I was not taking care of myself. Girl, when I walk around, men, I have seen men hurt their neck, no joke. I never got that before. And it's just helped me in life. And makeup makes me happy. I mean, people might say, oh, she wears too much makeup. She blah, 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 blah. I love it. I love makeup. I love the process. That's my me time. Mr. Pig is having his meal. <laughs> He's eating 
his wet food for the night. Um, his chunks of gravy or whatever. I don't know. Anyway. Young man. Oh my god. Lord have mercy. I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh. Yeah, I have seen men, like, almost hurt their necks. And I've pulled just about every dime that I wanted. And this is not a new thing. I mean, I have... Girls. Mmm. <sighs> I've dated some cute ones. N not all of them are cute, I'm not gonna lie. But, I have one of my ex-boyfriends looks like a Brazilian soccer player. The other one looks like 50 Cent. You know, so I appreciate beauty. And handsomeness if we're talking about a man. I love it. But I have both. I'm pretty inside and out. And I think that I'm thankful for going through what I went through. Battling with this aspect of myself that I blamed for what I thought it brought into my life, whether it be my face, my body, both, whatever. And then I realized, like, I'm not gonna put that on myself. They cross the line first. Because I don't betray people. N nine times out of ten, I get betrayed first. And... That's their own actions. But I feel like doing a lot of beauty magic and self-love and glamour magic and that area of energy work has been so healing and so confidence boosting for me because I've seen what it does in my life. And it's all in the name of good. I'm not just trying to pull men so that I can hurt them. I'm, you know, I'm not being uh, malicious about it. I'm using it to my advantage to help my life and other people's. Because when that man gets Nikki as his little girlfriend, his entire life is better. I've seen it so many times. So I'm going to attract what I want to attract, and I'm going to use my beauty inside and out to do that. And there's nothing wrong with being spiritual and putting makeup on. People, when I'm out in public, and I, if they ever find out that I'm a witch or I practice whatever, especially Pablo, girl, people do not believe it. Because of this image that the spiritual woman has of not wearing makeup ever, of um, being so <sighs> dressed down all the time, not exuding her outer beauty, not appreciating it. You know, not wearing deodorant, etc. That's not realistic. Because let me tell you something. I can have 10 pounds of lip gloss on and do some work and get it done. Makeup is a ritual. Beauty is a ritual when you know how to use it. I'm not wearing red lips for no reason. I'm not wearing 
lashes for no reason. Yes, I wear them because I like them. But everything on my face right now, my hair, I mean, this doesn't really count. It's for a reason. And a lot of it has to do with me wanting to get what I want. And I want to look good while I do it. Not to say that I look bad without makeup or anything like that, but I just, I love it. I like the positive attention that it gets because as spiritual as I am, girl, who does not love compliments, especially from handsome ass men? Does that not make your day? Like, it's one thing, you know, I appreciate compliments all the time, as long as they're genuine. But it's a different type of thing when that handsome man just... Mm. It makes you happy. And... Thinking about one of mine. He loves my makeup, girl. Mm hmm. Normally, he's like, When is Nikki gonna be wearing today? I have no idea. Because I just love it. And when these eyes get to blinking, you can't resist that, sir. And, and again, is this right? No. But sometimes it's how the world is. People don't talk to you as crazy when you have a bunch of makeup on. They don't. People don't, um... This is where the truth of if you take care of yourself, other people will take care of you type thing comes in. If you're not respecting yourself and you just choose not to uh, take care of your body, that's going to carry over into your relationships. I am not talking about people that struggle with sickness, illness, disease, um, depression, anxiety, anything like that. I am talking about someone that has all the resources available to take care of themselves and they choose not to because they're scared of it. No lie. I was that person for a while, and I snapped the fuck out of it. And now, I wear makeup almost every single day. I, my hair is a little bit of a different story because it's like in a weird growing phase. And I don't like wearing wigs all the time. So it's just always in a bun, whatever, most of the time. But yeah. Because makeup makes me feel extra, extra pretty. And I'm not ashamed to say that. Like, I can be a damn panetta. An espertista. And have 10,000 makeup on. When I go in front of a bunch of angangas like this, no. Out of respect for... And gangas. Because, girl, trust me, the improvals have seen me at my worst. Physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. They, they've seen that ever since I got initiated in Palo. Mm-hmm. I have been at the river. God bless Mama Chola Wingy. And I have been boo-hoo crying. Not everywhere 
if I did have makeup on and an eyelash was going this way and half falling off my eye because I was so upset. Mascara down my neck. <sighs> but no, I would not go in front of shrines all the time looking like this. I know better. Um, but again, it doesn't take away from my spirituality and I think that we need to break out of this narrative of you can only be one thing. And women, we go through that so much in so many different aspects of our lives. Like, you can't be, um, seductive and have boundaries. You can't be pretty and smart. You can't be a successful businesswoman and be a mom. Like, there's all these, um things that we're told that we can't be at the same time, and we can. And that's a very patriarchal thing because men are notorious for putting women into categories. Because that's how their brain works, a lot of them. Not all of them, but an unawakened man, yeah. You best believe he puts you in the category of An unawakened man that cannot see past the physical aspect of a woman. Because just the other night, I went out looking like Trampy McTrinket. I had hoop earrings on bigger than these, full face of makeup, leather pants, my wig was laid. Um, a crop top on, heels, waist beads, I mean, just, mm. oh my god, but I, I kind of looked like a hoe, um, and I actually started giving tarot readings because people were coming up to me and wanting them, so I was like, okay. Girl, people's minds were blown. Because to them, in their mind, they could not believe that I looked like a hoe and a half. And I read them in their entire life at that moment. With some tarot cards. Mm -hmm. My gypsy is very proud. She is. Am I... I am retiring that word in 2023. I will no longer be saying Gypsy or Hipana. Because I had a long talk with one of my fellow Roma sisters and... Yeah. She's an ancestor of mine anyway, so, you know. One of my angles is very proud of her baby. Because my... Roll my ancestor, one of them, is very, very beautiful. All my spirit guides are beautiful that I've seen. And if they were not aesthetically pleasing, I would not treat them any differently. That's not what I'm saying. But my Roma, Agon, is notorious. She loves jewelry. She loves red lipstick. She loves tarot cards, obviously. Um, all these different things, and she was in a certain um, industry, the oldest pr profession ever known to man since the beginning of time. That's one reason I don't judge. Um, but she also was a powerful spiritualist. At the same time, duality, using her beauty as a weapon. Because I can get a lot done when I take care of myself. Mm 
do people still pick on my looks? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Oh, people give me a hard time all the time. Oh, I need to use filters because I like how this one looks. And, truth be told, I look better in person than I do on camera. I go on camera for you guys. I don't like being on camera. Girl, no. Because I look completely different in person in a good way. Excuse me. People get on to me about my eyelashes, my earrings, my eyebrows. Y'all can take that one up with Daddy B, to be honest with you. Because I did not get these eyebrows from my mama. But yeah, put your makeup on. It's okay to look pretty. It's okay to like makeup and be fucking spiritual. If that's not your thing, you don't have to do it. That's fine. I don't, I'm not going to judge you just because you don't like makeup. But y'all need to stop with the fake woke bullshit and stop hating on women that like makeup and saying that we can't and we're not spiritual. I want to be... 80. I will be 80. With some red lips on, some fake lashes, probably a wig, to be honest with you. A custom made wig. Those Moomoo -moo dresses that kept our granddaddies paying all the bills, like lingerie. Those dresses, like. That's why your grandmama has six babies. Just saying. You know, and my Chinese slippers, and I'm gonna be having a good old time. My grandmother loved makeup. When she passed away, that was one thing that I was sad that I didn't get to in time, was her old school Clinique makeup with the, uh, pearlescent green jade color finish and I still remember the shade of lipstick that she wore how it smelled and my lights just flickered there she is um the kind of foundation that she wore which was very good foundation by the way they don't make it anymore but it's just a very special thing my mom loves makeup i have a lot of memories with my mom you know standing beside her when she was doing her makeup for the day and she'll put a little blush on my cheeks and comb my hair and traumatized me because i'm tender-headed because my hair is a mix between um my mom and my dad's so my mom doesn't understand what it's like to have baby fine hair. She would pull it when she was combing it out. And it's traumatizing, and that is one reason that I don't like people touching my head, among many others. And I don't like people brushing my hair. And I do not get my hair cut. I do not cut my hair. Or my head. My eyebrows and my sideburns on the other hand, they can go. <laughs> but yeah, I have so many memories involving makeup and beauty and shopping with my mom or shopping with my grandma. And yes, these are all earthly human things, but it's life. And our grandmas knew what they were doing. They played the game better than everybody. Because they knew that their beauty was a weapon. Figure out what makes you feel beautiful and do it. Live it. Be 
Beauty is a form of wealth. Did y'all know that? Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna go into why, but it is. And how are y'all gonna say that, especially in ATR, that women shouldn't wear so much makeup and blah, 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 blah. And then you have deities like Ochun, who is so much more than her beauty, but it's one thing that she loves and is known for. Mama Chola, same thing. Anaisa. Rizoli, Freda, Amatrisani, Paula Jura even. Think about it. <coughs> Nurturing your beauty inside and out because both are important. Okay, love you. Bye.